Okay, here's the beautiful Tyrannus X9D Plus radio. And I just wanted to uh, show you guys what you can expect if you purchase this radio from me. Ooh, it's pretty. Um, I like this radio. Uh, the aluminum case it has been kind of a pain in the butt for a lot of retailers because it doesn't ship well. And so uh, sometimes if you order the aluminum case, it's an additional cost. And then on top of it, sometimes it gets damaged in shipping. Uh, so a lot of retailers don't offer it. Uh, I offer the case, but uh, I also require insurance on it if you um, order the case from me. And that's just to protect it in shipping. And it raises the price a little bit, but it's totally worth it. So here's the radio. And it's shown in the optional aluminum case. If you order it without the aluminum case, you get the radio and it just comes in a cardboard box. Here's the cardboard box for reference. And then there's an idea of what you get. So you get the same items. You get the radio, you know, the charger, the rechargeable battery, uh, you get the lanyard for your neck, and the instruction manual. You just don't get the fancy aluminum box if you don't opt for it. You can see that it comes with the lanyard here. It comes with the battery charger, which is actually really handy to have. And uh, it comes with the radio itself. I am a huge fan of this radio. I just think that this is so nice for the price that you have to pay for it. Uh, it's got all the features uh, that people with lower grade radios are trying to add to them. Um, it's got haptic feedback. It talks to you as you're flying. Uh, that's a great feature to have uh, for a an FPV pilot because you can't always take off your goggles and look at your radio. This thing will, you can program it and it will actually tell you how many minutes you have left uh, for your flight time. It will tell you warnings through audio, which is really great. Um, once you start flying FPV, you'll realize how valuable that is. Welcome to OpenTX. And that's its stock throttle voice. Warning. Throttle warning, but you get an idea of what Switch warning. what these uh what these sound like. You can hear it. It's also vibrating. So now that I've turned off all the switches, you can see it's uh, ready to go here. So one of my favorite things about this radio are the fact that most of the switches on it uh, that are position switches are three-way switches. This is extremely handy for people that are flying with flight controllers um, like the Naze 32 that have three positions um, per switch that you can program. It just basically allows you to use your switches in a way that maximizes what they do. Uh, other cheaper radios will have like a two-way switch and so you end up losing some of your capability that the a flight controller can offer. Another thing about this radio that's nice is it's got a backlight built in. It's got a very large screen here. Uh, it runs OpenTX. That's really great um, because it's an open source radio. You can get different firmware versions for it online uh, and it's fully supported by the community which is really nice. This radio feels really good out of the box. The controls feel nice and precise. Uh, good spring tension. Some of the cheaper radios, you actually have to open up and adjust the spring tension to get them to get it where you want it. Uh, this radio just feels good. I only sell Mode 2 on my website, and Mode 2 means that the throttle's on the left here. Uh, even the throttle feels good. There's um, like indentations that you can feel uh, for precise throttle control as you move this thing up and down and it's hard to show that on the video but it definitely has a nice feel to it. These radios are built in with the 2.4 gigahertz free sky or FR sky radio so they work out of the box with free sky receivers. That's another thing about this radio that I really like is it has four potentiometers. It's got these potentiometers up here that are real nice. They've got a centered 
uh, detent so you can actually feel where the center is just by touching it and rotating it. And on top of that, it's also got these potentiometers on the side that you can control with your fingers. Uh, this is a really nice feature because you can have uh, like a camera pan tilt on here or something like this and it's accessible while you're flying. Some of these other potentiometers you can't quite reach uh, you know, while you're flying. And when you're flying FPV, you're flying blind. So uh, having this here is just really nice. It, it essentially makes a potentiometer uh, within reach of the pilot. It's another example of the haptic feedback in this radio. It actually vibrates when something's going on. Like you can program different alarms and things to vibrate. Uh, so when I turn this on, you should hear the switch warning vibration. So that, that feature is really handy when uh, you have it enabled on different warnings and parameters because uh, you can feel it. Because when you're flying FPV, you're flying blind, you can't really look at this screen to know what's going on. So that's just an additional feature that's nice to have on top of the voice. Here's the back side of the X9D, and uh, it's got the basic module output. Um, you know, the module for this radio is built in, but this is nice because you've got access to your PPM signals and 5 volts right there. So if you wanted to add something like a long-range system, it's pretty easy to do. And they also make drop-in modules that you can pop in here for different radio systems. So that's nice. This radio has also got a USB port on the back, which is nice. It's got a headphone output for the voice commands, and it also has the trainer port. So it's really enabled as far as connectivity goes. You can connect this thing to other radios or to your computer, uh, to a simulator, uh, you name it. I mean, they really thought about all of the connections here on this radio. Another great feature about this radio is that it comes with a 2000 milliamp hour battery ready to go. It's a nickel metal hydride battery so it's it's not a lithium ion but it's still nice to have a rechargeable battery built into your transmitter. It's just one less thing that you're going to have to buy. The radio also features an SD card which is really nice for moving settings around, uh, storing models, doing things like that. The SD card is right there. Uh, but that's just another feature of this uh, feature-packed radio that's just really nice to have. It's like Free Sky just thought of everything that they needed to uh, when it came to designing this radio. And they um, just went all out. I do not ship the X90 Plus with a receiver. Uh, you can usually get them with an 8 channel receiver, but I like to, the FreeSky D4R2 receivers, and so I've just opted to not include those uh, 8 channel receivers with these radios. So if you're buying this from me, you have to get a receiver for it, and there should be a link below for that. I've flashed these radios with uh, custom firmware and I've got the model already set up for the QAV250. Uh, so that just makes it easier and it just takes one less step out of the equation. Uh, you'll still have to make sure that the uh, QAV250 is set up properly before you go fly. So I don't think you can just take it out of the box and fly it. Uh, but it should save you some time and energy in that respect. I also put the amber voice packs on the radios, which is much nicer than the stock Tyrannus voice pack and you'll thank me for that and I'll just give you a demonstration Welcome to Tyrannus uh, You can change this backlight here Throttle warning and you can hear her voice and I've got the QAV250 set up on the radio for you so um, it should be very easy to set up and I've got another radio here that I haven't flashed yet now, I'll let you hear the side-by-side -side comparison. Welcome to OpenTX. Throttle warning. Okay, and here's the one with the better voice pack. And like I said, this ships with this voice pack. Welcome to Tyrannus. Throttle warning. 
So it's just a much more pleasant voice to listen to. Switch warning. Switch warning. Uh, these are different colors because you can program them. I prefer the red. I think it, it looks cooler. So, um, you know, it ships like that, but you can change it if you'd like. And the other nice thing about this is these switches are all set up. So you've got switch 1, 2, switch 3, and switch 4. Uh, they're ready to go for the NAS32 when you order this from me. So uh, you can program these and everything's set up. You've got the correct um, direction for all of your pitch roll, yaw, throttle functions all set up for the NAS32. And uh, yeah, you should just be good to go. So in conclusion, this uh, Tyrannus X90 Plus radio is just the best radio that I've found for the money and you can't beat it and uh, I hope I can help you get one so thanks for watching and I hope that this helps you make a good decision